Hi guys, welcome to the multi-award winning Emerald House of Cars. We're a totally unique family run business on a mission to be the best car dealership in the UK. Our commitment is to give you guys the best buying experience you've ever received, whether you plan on purchasing completely online using our free next day delivery service with seven day money back guarantee, or you're coming to the showroom to meet the team. We've made everything as easy and as transparent as possible so that you've got full confidence in choosing Emerald for your next car. A little later in the video, we'll show you how our vehicles are prepared before sale in our on-site RAC approved service center. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following video. Hello there guys, and welcome to this quick virtual walk around of the incredible looking and weirdly named Italian racing red Jaguar XF diesel. This is an absolute behemoth, and it is of course rear wheel drive, and it is the R Sport variant. It's also got the black pack on there, which is of course the black wheels, black grille, and black window surrounds, and black badging all over. It looks stealthy, it looks sporty, it looks aggressive, and it drives absolutely phenomenally. So bear with me while I show you all the way around this incredible car and the reasons why you should definitely be considering taking this from us at HQ. So down here, you've got your Jaguar branded Xenon headlights with your LED daytime runners, and you've got your first bit of the black pack there with the black styling and of course, the honeycomb grille. That is of course entered on the big wide mouth front of this as well, which really does give it a nice aesthetic appearance. So you've got your sports bumpers as well as part of the R Sport pack. And moving down, you can see you've got your nice big gloss black 5033 18-inch alloys as well. You also have got your real nice black badging on the wing here with a honeycomb mesh just behind it and the R Sport logo. And of course, you've got the extended flared side skirts too. Italian racing red on your mirrors with the gloss black inlay behind it. And you've got your gloss black all the way around your windows, also known as de-chroming, tinted privacy glass and gloss black B pillars as well. You have also got the shark fin antenna, you've got your tinted privacy glass on the rear, and you've got your gloss black finisher just on the sill here that matches in with a pack. Nice dual exit exhaust, and you've got your black satin just on there as well. And our guys have left a bit of polish on there, the numpties. You can also see that you've got the reverse parking sensors just on here, and your boot release isn't electric, but if you click the button, it lifts all the way up for you. And you can see you've got quite a big boot in there that stretches quite a long way back. You've got your tyre fit system, you've got extra pockets, you've got your ad blue, and down here you've also got your battery and you've got your toolkit and funnel as well. On the lights, you can again see that they're a nice big sweeping indicator light just there that has got quite a lot of presence, and you can see they are LED. 20D badging, XF badging, and you can see walking around the car, it's in really good order. Italian racing red against the black shouldn't work as well as it does but it really really does look very sumptuous certainly a car that will turn heads and just wait till I show you on the inside that is most certainly definitely going to blow you away so that's everything on the exterior wicked aggressive styling lines in perfect order nice grooves and an incredible colorway so no Jaguar would be complete with our absolute elegance, refinement and luxury. And I'm glad to say this one doesn't disappoint. With your ebony leather, with your oyster stitching, it's just effortlessly classy. It's got a real nice hexagonal dark grey aluminium trim which goes all the way across the dash onto the nice chrome again on the door card. And you can see you've got your nice big bolstered front sport seating again, that oyster stitching with the ebony leather looks incredible they are manually adjustable seats you've got electronic recline and you've also got heated seats as well moving down onto there you have of course got your jaguar r sport badging and when we move it round and we look on here on the door card you've got your piano gloss black and your chrome and you've got your electrically adjustable windows electrically adjustable mirrors and you can see that you've got that nice ebony leather with oyster stitching as well and moving into the rear, you can see you've got that same stitching and real nice big supported balsa seats with a fold down armrest, isofix, really nice condition on the seats, plenty of leg room as well for the rear passengers. There's also fans and a 12 volt socket charger. 
Now coming inside again, we're getting down, sitting fully. You can see on the instrument cluster, it's covered just over 61,800 mile. And panning back, you get the nice tailored bespoke steering wheel in Napa leather. And that of course has got the R Sport logo. It's not flat bottom, but it is shorter. And you've got your instrument cluster display for the digital seven inch screen. And of course your cruise control there. You've got paddle shift, so gears down and gears up with a plus. And on this side, you've got your automatic headlights and high beam. And on here, you've got your automatic wipers as well. They are rain sensing, so they can be triggered as soon as that happens. And you can see here, you've got the oyster stitching that really does give it a real luxurious bespoke feel all the way across the instrument cluster and the center console. But on the Jaguar, it's things like this, just putting their name on each fan. It's just that attention to detail that really does set them aside. On the bar at the front, you've also got Jaguar just embossed on there as well. It just looks a super, super well-styled car. And then moving down, you have, of course, got your touchscreen navigation. You've also got your in-control, your reverse camera. Moving down from there, you've got your aircon, your heated seats, push-button start. You've also got storage. You've got your gearbox. And, of course, you've got your different drive select modes as well. And just down here, you can see you've got dual zone cup holder, electronic parking brake, and you've also got your control just there as well. And if you lift this button up, you can see you've got a further storage. You've got an SD card based navigation, auxiliary, and a 12 volt socket charger too. So we'll turn her on, shall we? Said the actress to the bishop. Turn that on. You can see that the boot is open, which is absolutely fine. I just haven't shut it down properly. But you can click on the buttons here and that brings up your different menu. So if I pan out, you can now see that just on here, I can change down on all the different menus. So if I click OK, and again, and again, you can see I can get onto all the different menus now. So if I click on driver assistance using this button here, I can do forward alert, AEB, which is of course your autonomous emergency brake, lane departure warning, and the settings, traffic sign recognition, and the settings for that as well. I can also go onto trip computer. I can get my different display content on there. So it'll tell you what's on there. So it's your trip distance, average speed, average consumption, instant consumption and distance to empty and your driving style as well. So you can click on it here and you can go through all that if you really want to. What you can do, go on display settings and you see you can change your info panel and all the different bits on there. You can also change your digital speedometer if you really want that on. And you can change temperature and language as well. Scrolling through, click on vehicle settings. And of course, you've got passenger airbag, which you can turn on or off. Security features, which do include audible locking. So if you didn't want it to know that your car was locked, you can turn that off. Alarm sensors, driver eye locking and dual stage locking as well. So what that means is to unlock all the doors, you need to click it twice. And on convenience, you've got your global open and close on the windows. You've got your rain sensing wipers, which you can turn on or off. You've got your headlamp delay and you've got your gear shift paddles. You can have them in drive or you can have them in sport only. And coming off that one, you can, of course, go into vehicle information. And that brings up your tyre information. If you want to click on there, pressure units and recommended pressures. And you can go on your show the warnings. So that's obviously your boot open and your fuel low on this particular time. But you can also click back on there and you can click on your tyre pressures and different options as well. And that really is everything in the instrument cluster. Now, what you'll also see is you've got your mileage to empty, which is of course 58 mile. So it's tanks not really that empty. You've also got this checkered flag just here. Now that is because it's in your different driving mode. So here you do of course have your auto start stop. You've got dynamic. And if you click it across, you'll see it changes on there. You've got normal, you've got eco, and of course, you've got rain, ice and snow as well for the bad weather. So for us, we'll keep it normal or you can have it in dynamic. Dynamic is basically the sports mode. So it gives you a rate throttle response and a better rev ratio as well. Now, moving down on to here, what you will definitely be able to see is that you've got your nice big touchscreen media system. And what that means is that you can click on media here and that will bring up all the different sources that you're able to use. DAB, FM, AM, and of course, auxiliary. If you've got Bluetooth, you can also use that, but really you're only ever gonna want DAB. If you click on phone, it's really simple to use. Click yes, and you're able to be talking on the go. 
Climate, that is of course your temperature, but you can change your climate control and your heated front seats as well. Really simple to use. Turn it up, turn it down, or turn it off. You can click on the navigation, click on the screen. And you see it brings up a nice, big, large fonted unit, which really is easy to use and so, so easy to read and operate. And if you click across, you can see you've got your in-control apps, which you need to connect via your USB. And moving around, you've got Wi-Fi. You've also got your cameras. So if you do click on there, you can see you can see our big Tom's footprint just there. Believe it or not, ladies, he is a size 49. Some big old socks and underpants for that fella. But of course you can see the rear view camera as well. Real nice, real clear picture. And what we've also got is a screen off valet mode and you can of course get into eco data and you can see your impact on your fuel, your driving style, or you can go on your advanced trip as well. And moving down, you can see we've got dual zone climate control. So 16 degrees for the passenger, 28 degrees for the driver, but you can sync it and change them both up. You've got your different temperatures just here recirculation front screen rear screen hazard light air distribution the force it's portrayed in where the air is distributed just on here you see it brings up on the climate menu heated seats auto if you want auto aircon air conditioning max air conditioning and turn it down again now what we've also got on here is of course your volume control and your power button and the automatic and engine start stop then here you've got a nice little bit of storage and here you've got the fantastic dial box here as part of your gearbox so in park you switch it to reverse which you know happened because you get your sensors and you also get the camera you've got neutral drive and for sport you have to press it down and turn it to the right you'll know that because on here obviously you've got the boot open warning light still which is very annoying but you'll see just underneath you've got the s in terms of sport turn it across its drive neutral reverse and park what you've also got is auto start stop you've got your different drive mode so if i click across on here you're able to see that it comes up just on there you've got your rain ice and snow for harder weather eco normal and dynamic which is sports mode traction control off so you can get a bit of slidey action from the rear you've of course got your terrain response here and you've also got your electronic parking brake here you've got a dual zone cup holder you've also got a really nice gloss black finish on the little cover and under there you've also got your sd card for your nav 12 volt socket charger and you've got your auxiliary port as well so that really is pretty much everything i can tell you about this absolutely epic jaguar xf and what i haven't yet told you is of course that every car here at emerald is treated to the 128 point emerald check prior to retailing this just means our vastly experienced team of body shop guys and mechanics and head techs have given this car a real thorough good looking over all of which you can see the results on our website under inspection sheet but it just means that cosmetically and mechanically the finest of fine tooth combs have brushed the golden locks of this beautiful italian racing red jaguar xf we also have service every vehicle here on site prior to retaining with an oil and filter change which just ensures that there's no cross contamination or confusion on any products that have been used it also means that you are fully in the know that everything is in peak condition for when you arrive so if you've got any questions regarding the car the service history the dodgy man presenting the video or just how team green roll daily then do please get in touch with one of us today and we'll be more than happy to help for me, it's a thank you for watching. Don't forget we're able to offer you finance and we also welcome part exchange. We'll see you next time, guys. One of the most important factors when buying a used vehicle is figuring out who to trust. Buying a car is a massive financial commitment and you need to be 100% confident in the company that you choose. We have over a thousand five-star reviews on Google, Facebook and Autotrader. Hundreds of video testimonials and the jewel in the crown are the multitude of awards we've won over the past number of years, including UK Independent Dealer of the Year, Independent Community Dealer of the Year, and most recently, Used Car Retailer of the Year. Integrity and transparency are really important to us at Emerald in how we conduct our business. We're the only dealership with a multi-award winning weekly YouTube show, which pulls back the curtain and lets you see the inner workings of how a car dealership operates. We cover all aspects of the day-to-day -day running from buying, selling, sourcing, after sales, and of course, everything that goes on 
over at our RAC approved workshop. Every one of our car undergoes a 128 point vehicle inspection by our team of experienced technicians. Any item that aren't up to our approved standards, we rectify and replace parts needed with manufactured approved parts. We also service every car and put a fresh MOT on ready for its next owner. When we are happy the car is in A1 mechanical condition, over it goes to our body shop for paint correction or wheel refurbishment, then finally onto our detailing team. Essentially, we want to ensure that when the car reaches this new owner, it's at its very best. For the road ahead, we've got you covered with a comprehensive 90-day warranty, which can be extended for one, two or three years, depending on your preference. We are proud to be partnered with the market leading warranty providers that match up to our own high standards, providing customers with genuine support when they need it. We've also got you protected for all unfortunate circumstances, such as having your car written off or stolen throughout your time holding the vehicle. We're really pleased to be able to offer a great RAC gap and return to invoice insurance product, keeping you safe long after you've left our showroom. If you are local to us and want us to take away the headache of keeping your car well maintained, our service plans could be just the ticket for you. Payable monthly and carried out in our fully equipped RAC approved garage, every service comes complete with a free health check to keep you and your vehicle safe and secure on the journey ahead and also protect the future value of your car by maintaining that all important service history. And when it comes to protecting your car's interior and exterior against stains, scuffs, contaminants, all of our encompassing Gardex paint and fabric protection ensure the aesthetic appearance of your new vehicle remained unaltered and improved to an almost better than new finish. It's a great opportunity to protect against the best and worst that Mother Nature has to offer. And last but not least, if you do need to take out finance for your new vehicle, we have a panel of over 35 lenders, including Santander, with rates as low as 7.9% APR, always guaranteeing you the lowest possible interest rate. For a fee finance check, which won't affect your credit rating, click the finance tab on our website to fill out a two minute application that lets you know beforehand what your monthly payments are likely to be. We've got loads of PCP, HP, and lease options available, depending on your personal preference and budget. So if you want to speak to me or my team of finance experts for any help and advice, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone. We're here to help. Our goal at Emerald is not just to sell cars, it's about creating lasting relationships and customers for life. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what some of our customers had to say about their very own Emerald experience. And how would you rate us out of 10? 10 being probably the best car dealership in the UK. Definitely 10. Oh, I'd definitely say 10. I'm going to say 10. 10. 10, obviously. 10. 10, I suppose. <laughs> Definitely a 10. I would give you a 10. Ah, uh, it's got to be a 10. I'd give you a 10. Well, it's obviously a 10, isn't it? Obviously a 10. Mate, right, more than 10. Can I say 11? Straight million. <laughs> Straight, Straight million. Why more than 10? I would say 10. Oh, I'd go as far as saying 11. Definitely a 10. 10, yeah. A 10? I can say 10. In the 11. UK. Well, it's got to be a 10. Definitely a 10. If I could give you more than a 10, I definitely would. <laughs> I'd definitely say a 10. 10. I'd give you a 10. I'd give it a solid 10. I would say 10. 10 out of 10. I'll give you a 10 then. Sounds good. Give it a 10. 10. But I'll give you a 10 out of 10. It's gotta be a 10. <laughs> I'll give you a 10. But I would rate you a 10. So 10 out of 10. 100%. It's gotta be 10 out of 10, right? Eh? That's an easy one, isn't it? It's 11. 11 out of 10. I'll give you 10. Perfect. Because I came back, didn't I? <laughs> and Perfect. I'll be back again. <laughs>